Growing up, Luke Cromenhawk thought he would be playing college football on the defensive side of the ball. He knew he could throw the ball better than most, but he was also a great linebacker while growing up. But things all changed when he went to go throw in front of a former pro quarterback. This is the story of Luke Cromenhawk, the future of Florida State football. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm planning to release a video every day for the month of August. Also comment who you want me to cover in future videos and your top five quarterback prospect rankings for the 2024 recruiting cycle in the comment section below. Luke Romanhawk is from Savannah, Georgia and currently plays high school football at Benedictine Military School. Luke's father played college football at UMass as a defensive lineman and Luke thought he would follow in his father's footsteps on the defensive side of the ball. Growing up though, Luke was always super athletic and he could always throw the ball far. He would launch the ball in the backyard with the dogs, so he always knew he had a strong arm. It was not until 7th grade that he learned he could be a special talent when it came to the quarterback position rather than the linebacker position. Luke's parents took him to throw in front of former pro quarterback Ken Mastrell, and he saw the potential the young Georgia native had. Croman Hawk started working with quarterback coach Denny Thompson, who was based in Jacksonville, Florida. Thompson works with 2023 NFL first round pick and former Florida quarterback Anthony Richardson, Georgia quarterback Carson Beck, Nebraska quarterback Jeff Sims, and NFL quarterbacks Gardner Minshew and Brock Purdy. Luke did not earn the starting quarterback job at Benedictine Military right away though as he sat behind Auburn's Holden Garner. His father believes this was the best thing for Luke, who got to learn from one of the best quarterbacks in the 2022 recruiting cycle. This set the bar high for Croman Hawk of where he needed to be if he wanted to play at the Division I level. While he sat behind Garner, Luke played safety, receiver, and tight end. As a sophomore in 2021, Croman Hawk was the fourth leading receiver on the team with 25 catches for 287 yards and three scores. He also finished seventh on the team with 61 tackles as a safety. When Luke transitioned to quarterback in 2022, the team adopted his patented toughness, which would pay off in key games. Luke's athleticism allowed the head coach, Danny Britt, to open up his playbook. Britt's balanced offense, which includes plays out of the wing tee and spread, was not used to its full potential because Garner was more of a traditional pocket passer who completed 68% of his passes for 3,377 yards, 36 touchdowns, and only 3 interceptions when he led the team to the state title as a senior. Luke led Benedictine to their second state title, a game they won on a goal line stand. Britt told The Athletic, he wasn't even on the field at the time, but his mentality helped. I believe the head coach's mentality bleeds off into the team. I believe the quarterback does the same thing. He's a fighter and a competitor, and he was just as happy we won it in that way as if he had thrown a perfect touchdown pass. That's who he is, and I do believe the guys love playing for that. Most of the time, the quarterback that becomes your guy has kind of been a quarterback as he's come up. Luke's different in a lot of ways. What makes him special, other than the bazooka he has in his arm and his talent, is his mentality. His dad played defense in college, and he just has that mentality. He loves to compete. He loves contact. He loves just being in the battle with his guys, and that's a pretty awesome thing to have at the quarterback position. Luke loves the game of football and knows it could set up his family for generations and beyond. He drives over two hours every Sunday to work with Thompson in Jacksonville, and will sometimes work with him a second day of the week if he has off from school. As for the next step in his development, Roman Hawk says he is focused on his footwork. The amount of zip Roman Hawk puts on his ball naturally hasn't been perfected yet, Thompson said. They're getting there. Thompson told The Athletic, we've clocked him with a football without him even knowing it, and he's NFL level now. The crazy thing is, we still have a long way to go with Luke. He's so powerful. He generates so much force and speed with his upper body that we have to figure out, really, how to slow that down and make it a little bit more lower body driven. Going into his senior year, Luke will look to lead his high school to their third state title game, but he's going to take it game by game. When it comes to his work with Thompson, they are already preparing him for the next level. As of the time of recording, Luke Cromanhawk, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, is a four-star recruit who is the 8th best quarterback and 99th best player in the 2024 recruiting cycle. After the Elite 11 camp, he began to skyrocket up recruiting rankings. He received over 12 different Division I offers from likes of Florida. Florida State, Oklahoma, Penn State, and TCU. Florida State offered Luke in July of 2021 before he ever became the starting quarterback for his high school. 
Kerman Hawk told The Athletic, Florida State being able to trust me and put their faith in me, it really meant something special to me. I just decided to go there for camp and work my butt off. And I think they saw that. They were like, that's the type of dude we want. That's why they gave me an offer. Just where the program's headed and what the coaching staff is doing, I'm super excited for the future. When Mike Norvell watched him throw, he knew he needed to land Savannah, Georgia quarterback. Thompson told The Athletic, former offensive coordinator Kenny Dillingham called me and it couldn't have been more than 10 minutes into warm-ups. He was like, holy cow, this kid can fling it. I give FSU a ton of credit because when I got that text, I was kind of smiling and I thought, okay, we'll just have the conversation about it after the camp. But they offered him right then and there. It's just the way the ball comes out of his hands. It's so rare and unique. And there's such an effortless transfer of power with him. I think anybody that sees it knows that this kid is a little different than anybody else. Luke committed to Florida State in March of 2022 and has stayed firm on his commitment even though Penn State has tried to lure him away. Luke is helping recruit other players to Florida State and even traveled down to Sarasota, Florida to watch Charles Lester commit. The two prospects developed a relationship throughout their respective recruitment and Kroman Hawk wants to show his support for the top athlete. He told Knowles Game Day, I feel like as the leader of the class, the Tribe 24 class, the quarterback, I feel like it's kind of my duty to show up for the other guys. We're all one big family, so we're going to be there to support each other, and that's kind of why I decided to come. Luke is projected to be a future Power 5 starter, and has all the tools to be a special player at the next level. What do you think? How well will Luke Cromanhawk do at Florida State? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos YouTube thinks you will love right here. Don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe for more college football content. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, remember to embrace the grind.